I welcome you all the beings present in the current state in anywhere in the universe. Uh, whoever are directly watching or indirectly feeling my presence, I welcome them all. So today I'm going to discuss about the imprisonment from our attachment, the imprisonment from our own experiences. Before continuing, let us calm ourselves down by breathing in slowly from the stomach and breathing out slowly. We breathe in, we breathe out. We breathe in, as you breathe in and breathe out, absorb the stomach going up and down. Absorb the stomach going up and down. Bring your awareness there in the process of breathing in and breathing out. Come here where you are, where there is the breath, breath going in and going out. So, uh, after calming ourselves down, let us proceed. Uh, in case of uh, controlling anybody, any being, I would say, they will be under control if they are not aware of that they are being controlled. There can be different forms of control. Uh, there can be a social conditioning. Uh, or the surrounding conditioning. Um, it can be from the attachment, what you have generated during your lifetime. All those attachment that are stored as your experiences or that develop from your experiences in your life. And also that you inherited from your parents or from before birth from your karmic inheritances. So in the earlier state of being, you could be bringing, taking something from your earlier state of being to this state of being and a lot of things you experience during this current state of being, in this current state of being, that you store in our body, in our system, through the experiences and that develops as attachment. So how can we understand this controlling from the attachment and, and what is the state, how it is uh, in reality, uh, how strong it is or how feeble it is. This can be only understood by going deep into uh, our own understanding of attachment. So, anybody can be controlled easily if they are not known that they are controlled. Uh, in case of attachment, it is so finely tuned in our system that we don't feel that they are controlled or they are controlling us. Rather, we feel that they are our friend. It is something that is helping us. It is something that I want or we want that is our desire. Or it can be your ego in the form of ego. All those things, when it comes into the action, 
we never take it as our opponent rather we take it as our friend so sometimes our opponent can be also good taking us to some really good output good understanding in our life finding a new way but a lot of time it is not because it takes us away from what we want from the depth of our being what we want from our current state of being a lot of people have found probably the purpose of life and maybe they have seen that could be a current that could be one of the purpose of their life but they are not willing to spend more extra energy and time in that rather than they are going with the other perspective that is shown by our attachments which is changed in the form of ego in the form of materialistic um um collection in the form of materialistic way of life in the form of uh having a nice time all those things are different forms of attachment it doesn't mean that we do not we are not to entitled to have a good time of course but if that is against your deeper purpose and deeper meaning of life then why are we not able to go with that deeper purpose and deeper meaning of life rather than go with the superficial uh acts which is associated with our experiences where we feel that uh we are uh being happy or content with it rather than going to a stronger way of uh life on which we can find our real purpose so it is because the attachments controls us in a very minute way that we do not feel that we are controlled we feel that it is making us free so why we are not against our attachment what it is showing the way shown by our attachment rather than we are against the way which we have already seen which is the purpose of our current state of being or something else which you feel that you have to do or you want to do all your life but you are not willing to do that rather than go with the um experiences from the past what we were you were rejoicing what you were seeing that it is fruitful not going with the different path or changing the path and going in the direction which you really want to go and this is because we are on aware of the controlling behavior of the attachment and the control of the attachment is far more stronger than the control of our inner being which shows us the real path and on different aspects control of the attachment is very finely tuned and we are not aware that we are controlled by it rather than the inner being when it wants to so or the inner purposes purpose of life what you see from the inner your, your inner state when it wants us to work in a certain way certain strict way certain manner we feel that this is more challenging this is more demanding 
and this is more controlling. We are not fond of doing that because the purpose what we see or the thing what we see as we have to do uh, which is the essence of our being is not strong enough and also is not playing with our bodily system which changes the things, changes the metabolic activities and all those things in a way, in a level that the attachment from our experiences in the past which are more relaxing, more um, interesting and more happy moments we would say has higher strength and power in controlling us physically yeah we can say externally and from the internal metabolic activities as well so we are we are under the influence in a higher level than this outer attachment and outer feelings than our inner feeling and that inner feeling what we have doesn't have that strength because it is not controlling in a way in a way that we do not know we, it, we feel that it is some way controlling us it is more strict it is more stronger so we feel that it is more controlling rather than the outer state or the outer being which has all those attachments when it controls we feel that yeah this is the thing to be done this is the thing to be done this is the thing to be achieved because that shows you the current achievements not the achievement at the end of your life or not the achievement after we leave this current state so in this way, if we see that those controlling power which makes us feel that we are not controlled are more stronger than which makes us feel that we are controlled. And this also happens in our daily um, household scenarios in daily life like uh, somebody some kids may be thinking that they are controlled by their parents though they are given the correct direction and they may not feel that they are controlled by their friends or from the movies or other other aspects like a video games because they feel that they give the enjoyment they give the pleasure the current pleasure and this form is also a control keeping you in a pleasure and not giving you the willpower to do what is the real purpose or real thing to do in, in your current state of being. So as we sum up our understanding of attachment and its controlling behavior on us, it is so finely tuned and stored in our system that it makes us feel that we are not controlled. We do not feel it, that we are controlled by our attachment. But in reality, we are controlled by the attachment. Just like if I'm sitting here currently and I have a very nice sun and I have a desire that is coming over and saying that let's go and enjoy the sun, let's have a nice moment. But currently, I am on a complete different mission. And giving this, giving this my thought to you and staying inside, resisting that thought of going outside and enjoying the sun. And this is 
something we do not understand and right now if i see myself then i am able to reject the attachments i also have the experience in going outside in the sun and enjoying the hot weather chilling out but i have developed the way to cut off these attachments which rules me over the real things or purposeful act that i have to do and in this next step we will see that how the attachments can be overcome in this next part let us understand how can we be free from the control of that attachment how is it possible and it is not always possible to get rid of those attachments which controls us unknowingly which makes us feel that we are not control though we are under control until and unless we are awakened until and unless we are aware so when we are in the path of awakening we start to realize what are controlling us and how they are controlling us and the external attachment how they are controlling will be very clear as we start on the path of awakening as we be aware of our own feelings own uh, life scenarios and own our inner state we start to understand what are the controlling factors and how they are controlling and as soon as we realize that how the controlling factors are under action we can start to bring a boundary between our inner desire and then the external attachments which want to take us in the different direction than what our inner purpose is inner purpose is or what our purpose of our life is or what is the purpose of our current state of being is so as we become aware and awake and we understand the controlling behavior of the attachment which is very minute and very finely tuned so that we feel that we are not controlled we can start to get over it resist it and slowly and slowly give space to our inner purpose what we have or what we have seen as a direction of our current state of being where we should go further in the current state of being it is not easy as said than done so practicing daily being aware and always observing the action of the attachments action of our material state of our current state of being action of the matrix that you have in your surrounding action of the social conditioning action of the society action of your friends action of your family if you try to see that from the depth then you will start to understand which resembles to a purpose that is from the inner state that is coming and which doesn't resemble and slowly and slowly you will be moving in the direction where your purpose is where your inner purpose is where the inner state leads you to reach to your purpose to your destination so those controlling behaviors controlling thoughts controlling mechanism which 
does not show as if they are controlling are the main controlling factor of our life of our self of our being it's quite difficult to understand that but after we are awakened we are aware practicing being aware and continuing in the path of awakening we can slowly understand and come out of that control of the attachment come out of the imprisonment of that attachment so reducing that imprisonment removing that imprisonment removing that barrier removing that prison walls around us developed by the attachment and setting us free is the long process and it cannot be achieved in one day one month one year it's a process that we should move continually and then we will reach to the destination the destination is being free from the prison of attachment from the prison of ruling from the attachment from the imprisonment of the attachment which does not feel as if we are imprisoned being free from the thing that we feel that this is not imprisoning us or this is not putting us in the prison i hope you all will have a peaceful time a tranquility in your current state of being and reach to the destination where you are destined and i hope you all attain peace in the current state of the being i wish you all peace and tranquility